introverts welcome back to my channel it's the girl mina here back with another commentary video guys i'm here with another episode of dr stone finally i'm back on anime <laughs> for all my anime fans out there i know you guys may be disappointed that i haven't been a good anime fan because i haven't honestly watched any anime not for you guys with you guys or on my personal time i haven't had the time but i'm so glad that i am rearranging my schedule once again and fixing up my anime schedule during the week to upload for you guys and today is that day and i'm excited as always more anime to come dr stone is not the only anime i have in the works i have been filming other stuff it's just I haven't I haven't edited anything yet. I am one person and I am busy, so editing is you know a lot for all those that edit videos. It's you know it could it it's yeah it's a lot. I think last episode there was a grand bout. They had a winner basically. They had it in the bag. They beat out everyone and only Senku and the the brown headed dude. I got his name right here actually because chrome won his match and he is now you know he could be with the girl so it was um rory i guess and be the chief of the village so it was senku and chrome i believe that were the last two people standing so a victory for team science and i want to get right into it because i am honestly ready to see the progression what becomes of this tiny village i am very excited guys but of course as always i want to remind you guys to head on over to the books of the man .com. it's an awesome book recommendation website for awesome book recommendation and book reviews guys i am doing a giveaway i haven't <laughs> done much um promo for that giveaway for said giveaway those have seen those who have seen my video i will plug it in this video at the end of this video so, um check it out and see what the rules are of course i'm gonna save here as well you just have to subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the booksyoutheman.com so i could have your info to send it to you guys and no i'm not mailing it it's just through email i was gonna keep the prize like hidden but no one really mentioned if they wanted the surprise spoiled so i think i'm gonna just keep the prizes to myself for now and if you want to participate you can this is just uh, a way to give back to you guys who watch my videos i am very thankful for the 500 subscribers i have gained this well not even this year last year at the end at right at the cusp of 2024 um so it, it's it's great it's a great feeling i hope you guys participate in the, the giveaway no matter the prize <laughs> but i i want to believe you, everyone will like it right also you can visit my store Mina the introvert on etsy um this shirt is actually from etsy it says i prefer i prefer my men fictional i am shallow like that this is one of my favorite shirts guys if you are a recurring person to my videos just know that i do wear this often i wear it here i wear it out <laughs> it's one of my favorite t-shirts ever one of my greatest creations honestly and yeah um guys make sure you check it out you will be able to get 50 percent off through subscribing to the book to the as well and don't forget to stick around till the end of the video guys i have some promos for you guys from barnes and nobles and some other stuff all the links will be in the description box below just know i am an affiliate marketer if you click the link and you buy something i will be able to get a commission from that so guys make sure you check it out and uh, yeah let's jump right into dr stone this episode is episode 15 and this is called the culmination of two million years okay i hope i said culmination right culmination culmination i think it's best if i leave the village for now i'm an outsider and i'm not competing so i bet our keen row would throw a fit if i didn't <laughs> totally forgot that he was here he it's Jen, I think, the magician. He um was a big part of Chrome winning the the his match. Well, don't worry. It's down to us three, and Senku and I are just gonna throw our matches. So Chrome's already won. Ooh! Don't be so surprised. It's pretty obvious. 
I can tell that you've been rude. Nice job <laughs> figuring out the difference between convex and concave, Crumb. No. Oh, Seko's proud. But a servant of the gods. I cannot favor anyone. I will simply marry whoever wins. Huh? Seriously? That's weird. I could have sworn you. Learn to read between the lines a little, Kingro. She was just trying to be graceful. Village chief, Kingro. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. You heard the girl Ruri said she'd marry anyone! That means even I could be the village chief! My time has come! It's the era of Ginro! Ruri should have said nothing. If I win and become the chief, we'll all get to eat ramen every single day! Uh, and okay. everyone gets a harem! Okay! You're gonna try to use some crazy sorcery now? Well, not if I get you first! <laughs> Holy... <laughs> Senku might want to be chief, not to marry Rory, obviously, but he might just to, you know, take control of the village. Rory. <laughs> Nigga, wake up. You're supposed to win. All right, it's the last round. So now all that's left for me to do is throw the match. Then, Chrome, you'll marry Rory and become the village chief. <laughs> Happily ever after. This couldn't be more perfect. Now stop screwing around and get up. Oh, my God. Kick him or something. Where are the smelling salts? Senku. So, do we get a final round? <clears throat> Senku wins. The new village chief and husband of the priestess is the winner of the grand bout, Senku. <laughs> now marriage partner acquired. <laughs> I like this intro go hard too. I am gonna miss that one, but this one, I like it. I know this is like the building, the build up, kind of like a training arc for not really Senku, because Senku doesn't need to train, but you know, just to to build his army up, his backing up, his power, I could say, to increase it so he could face, you know, the antagonist of this season, which is Sukasa. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Senku, where did you even come from, huh? You're an outsider. We can't let you become our chief. My, my. If it oh, isn't wow. the former village chief himself. To tell you the oh. truth, I don't have a millimeter <laughs> of interest in your lack of approval. Uh, who are we supposed to side with? We side with Koku, yo, obviously. What? No. And he did technically just win. Not to mention he's married to the priestess now. Not automatic marriage. I'll take it. We need that too. <laughs> not again. Rory. It's not that bad. Sis, you are bleeding from your insides. How, what do you mean? It's not that bad. Yeah, have a drink with us. To celebrate your marriage, we're drinking the night away. It's tradition around here. Yeah, in that case. Huh? I want a divorce. <laughs> Oh. I think I may have just become the first divorced priestess ever. Well, how's that come? Okay, you need this to wake up. Utter bullshit! Capture that man right now! Sinku is no villain. And he's also the chief. Ah! <laughs> What's this? The force from the waterfall is making the bamboo spin around. <laughs> and I nailed it on my first attempt. Pretty cool, huh? Are you He's really a craftsman. I can't wait till he upgrades to, you know, other stuff. Hey, you! Want me to stand guard by myself? A weak old man like me? You've got nothing better to do! Stay in hell! How is he going to help? Uh, oh, sure, I'll help you out. <laughs> old man? Smelling salt. Oh, yeah. Or something similar. Oh, okay. By morning tomorrow, we'll have it. The cure-all sulfa drug. Okay. Tomorrow? That quickly? 
fun with making something is it step one is it gonna go exactly how he plans it or using a burnable rock called coal i've got plenty of that stuff <gasps> of course But for now, we don't even need the coal itself. We need the coal tar that's left after it's burnt. Ooh. Just wash it with hydrochloric acid, then throw an ethyl acetate made from alcohol and vinegar, and we've got aniline. Okay. Ah, this is interesting. Oh, is that the pee? Is that for his fist? Carbonated water! He did it! Just one cola. But it isn't, you know, done yet. He has to find, like, all those toxic ingredients for <laughs> Coca-Cola. I'm assuming that's what he means. Uh, did a bomb go off in here? There's a lot of collateral damage day. Just what have you gotten up to this time? <laughs> Science. Prepare acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride. Mm, then right. throw in ammonia to make para acetamido benzene sulfonic acid, cook it in hydrochloric mm. acid, and get that. Makes sense. Lastly, that carbonated water. Oh yes, I meant to ask. I'm not expecting anything, but is this for Yeah. What else would it be for? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> Excited to make baking soda. Baking soda. Yes, right. That's it. That's definitely what I was thinking. Your turn will come, sir. Then we sit back and wait. This is it. How does one make a pill, though? You know, like the pill casing? Or I guess it doesn't have to be like a gel pill, right? A capsule pill. The fruits of our labor. The cure all sulfur drug. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, well, how, how do you dose that? Uh, the, the, do you put it in water or something? How do you go about doing that? Enjoy the solitude of waiting back at the lab. Gin helped us out so much. It's a shame he can't come. I feel bad for him. That's just the way it is for rats like me. Oh. <gasps> oh, he did make it. Yay! Carbonated water, cilantro, lime, and honey caramel are all the ingredients you need to make cola, if you can believe it. Yeah? You should try tossing some lime zest onto crushed cilantro. You'll be shocked at how much it smells like good old cola. What about the taste, though? Oh, again. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Ruri. I promise you. This is the powder of life, born from stone. It's the cure-all of science. Hopefully it's not too late and stuff. What? So who's the chief? <laughs> is it still Senku? Even though he the voice, sir? Time to get oh, why did you guys have to? <laughs> Very suggestive, that pose. Time to make a diagnosis. Say E, loud and clear. <laughs> Sounds like a bleeding goat. That's evidence that there's fluid in our lungs. How do you take it out? How do you drain it? Why do you have that rat? Maybe we're eating it? Oh, well, he's gonna practice like surgery? <laughs> he's gonna practice. They are a good source of protein. Oh, he wanna do surgery. Sanko is it's so freaking amazing. Red inflammation all over the lungs. So it's definitely a bacterial infection. And even the rats are catching it. Oh gosh, this is a big problem. Rory! <laughs> She's gotten worse! Don't get up. Just stay on your side like this and try to breathe slowly. I knew not to trust them in their sorcery medicine. <laughs> Rory, Just we're here! <laughs> oh, it's tuberculosis? What is it? Senku, you bastard! This is all because of that drug! Father! If you didn't give her that, 
brewery wouldn't have taken such a drastic turn for the worse. She was on die anyway. Shut up. It's the signature move of the pneumococcus bacteria. Okay, pneumococcus. Which means that Rory's disease is pneumonia. Oh. And that's nothing to laugh at. It's a deadly disease with a kill count in the hundreds of millions. But we have science. Caucus bacteria. Which means that we won with the power of humanity's science. Okay. Enough of your trickery. Where's that? He's the chief. <laughs> he is the chief. You can't be trying to hit the chief. <laughs> Where are Sanku's guards? I gotta say, it's a miracle that Ruri managed to live to 18. But if you stay clean and keep warm, the disease's progression slows significantly. Turns out that hot spring water that Kohaku hauled in every day ended up helping her sister a lot more than she knew. Oh, Good for you. Ruri. Ruri. Aww. <laughs> Oh, what a wholesome moment! Oh, oh I ship it hard. I ship it. <laughs> I can't even remember how many years it's been since I've left the village or been able to run. Oh my God! <laughs> Everyone, chief. As of now, this man known as Senku is pronounced the new chief of Ishi. <laughs> is she coming to this? That's what right, was Senku. that? I know of you. I have for a long, long time. Since I was a Oh, uh, don't leave me on a cliffhanger. Your That's your last name. Is Ishigami Senku. Does he have a village named after him? Who? A sibling, maybe? It didn't show. Oh, that's someone. That's someone that looks like him. In the outro. But with the hair tips. Maybe that's like his mom or. Or sister or. <laughs> oh, gosh. Then maybe she died. Oh. That's hard. Another great episode of Dr. Stone. Episode 15 was a good one. It was a great one. Very wholesome, very sweet. We are definitely left on a cliffhanger. I totally also forgot that she said she knew Senku. Well, I knew of him at least. So, knowing that the village is named after him, I wonder if like his sister or sibling or parent or something had anything to do with the, the village or in some fashion or whatever and that was a long time ago and maybe she was like the wise woman or the wise man or even some people in this village might be descended of you know Sen Senku's family and stuff so I don't know it's, uh, it's very interesting I definitely want to say find out I'm glad Ivory is okay <laughs> I'm very happy about that and yeah she's safe um, guys, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think down in the description box below. There's links to my WordPad stories, guys, and make sure you grab. There's also links to me in the introvert store on Etsy. And don't forget to participate in my giveaway. Just subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the books in the .com and you will be a participant. And yeah, that's it for this video. Until next time.